darkness and... Careful! Get the lights, please! Proud on every inch of sand. The sailor lad just like his daddy loves the flowing pool. The woman ashore, he does adore a girl who's plump and round. When your money's all gone, it's the same old song. Get up, Jack John, sit down. Come along, come along, you jolly brave boys. There's plenty more grog in the jar. We'll plow the briny ocean like a jolly rowing tar. Jack's ashore, he'll make his way to some old boarding house. He's welcomed in with rum and gin like... You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape.
Who's he? No. be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript, or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill-prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join, or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop. Can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Can't let that lobster captain reach wardrobe. Suppose it depends on King George. I think we need a stronger colonial government, with or without him. Oh, there!
loose side of him! I have a clear <laughs> shot! An artist! I painted a portrait of Lawrence Washington himself! Hey, Washington's dead now! Can we get the police? Help! 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 Run him to the ground, lads! Take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted... No one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Grenade loose! <laughs> Ready to take him down? <laughs> Don't get hurt, Osama. I'll keep up with you. Did I ever tell you that I once served with Lawrence Washington? I'll take any reasonable now. What can I do? We were in the West Indies together. I didn't think much of it. Is there anything we can do? Sleepy Hollow. What's in Sleepy Hollow? Benjamin Franklin. The man Johnson hired to make that strange precursor box work. So what's the plan? Meet Hope. Impersonate one of Johnson's men. And get the box and manuscript to Franklin. So I'm a messenger then? Aye. See if this Franklin can figure out how this damn box operates. Stay with him. The assassin. Oh, a simple task. <laughs> For a simple man. Who's turn it? Batten that down, crystal light. That ship is drifting. And a sleepy hollow. Shame it's fallen into such disrepair.
You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate, Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Oh. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. This is intolerable. I can barely conduct my research anymore. The weather is getting worse. You know where the warehouse is, soldier. I should be soaked through in no time. Look now. I think I'm being followed. I'm sure you're seeing things, but I'll think so. Nothing but The drawing blood from a sick boy. He'll be back on his feet in no time. I had the most extraordinary dream last night. Thanks to the marrow in your no time. I keep well clear of that place. They say that man messes with lightning. Speaking of lightning, I reckon there's a storm coming. Aye. Let's hope she's from yours until we're off due, darling. You up for a pint? Sure, if you bring your mates. Well, that's bleak.
I wonder what Master Franklin plans to do with these rods. The storm's getting worse. Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 